Hello everyone, David Lee EdTech here, back with an update video of my Minecraft training center, the Eduplex, version 2.0, where education meets Minecraft. There are a couple of new additions to the Eduplex. First is the Benjamin Bloom Complex, named after the American educational psychologist who was famous for his classification of educational objectives. This complex is an extension to the combat training center in the John Dewey Complex. The two-story combat training center allows teachers and students to practice their hunting skills and their defense against mob attacks. Each of the four entrances contain chests full of weapons. Players can equip themselves with bow and arrows and swords. Through the doors, you will see trenches on your right and left sides. These are for defensive purposes. Entering the middle of the battleground, you will find lava pits that surround this structure. You can place an item here during games similar to Capture the Flag. Now on to the second floor. The upstairs offers an elevated vantage point with a wide field of view, great for expert marksmen. An item can also be placed in the center, but players will need to jump across the gaps to get there. Now on to the Minecraft Integration Center. Here's the Electric Circuit Museum where students took on the role of museum curators who had to create exhibits for the different components of a simple circuit, including series and parallel circuits. The second floor provided students with examples of machines that utilize circuitry. For more details about this project, check out the video I made with the link below. Now on to the volcano area. I did show this part of the Eduplex in the last video but here is one new addition. Here is my transform boundary. It demonstrates how two plates slide past one another which cause earthquakes. For more information about this unit, go to the link below. Next is my running track, where students had to find out if they were faster than their Minecraft characters. Students measured their own speed, then measured their character's speed, and then found out who was faster. Here's the video I made for this project. Next is my game room store. This store sells items that you would find in game rooms, such as pool tables and pinball machines. This was part of my entrepreneur math project. Students had to propose a business plan to their investor, the role played by their teacher. Students had to find out how much money they would need to buy their inventory, find a potential profit margin if all their products were sold, build their store in Minecraft, and then find out the cost of building their store. Here's a link to more information about the project. Finally, here's the QR code I made for my EdTech website, davidleeedtech.org. If you want any information on EdTech, check out this website. Thanks for going on another tour of my training center. I will definitely do another video when I add more areas to the Eduplex. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the like button for more tech integration videos. Until then, peace.